guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 1 and 2 of season 2 of Squid Girl, or what I called episodes 13 and 14 of Squid Girl, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 and 3, 2, 1, go. And we got a new, well, of course we got a new opening in season 2. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a question mark. <laughs> Sonic. Oh, are we getting more moments with her and Echo this season? Oh my god. I like the song, but not as much as season one song. Like, season one song is a bop. This is a bop, too, but, you know, I mean, I... Hey. This is Star Wars. I feel like I'm watching, like, anime version of Star Wars. That or Alien vs. Predator, in a weird way. A, a bomb. Yeah, that is Alien vs. Predator! <laughs> or just really Predator in a nutshell. Or, you know, no, no, no. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. Inca. <laughs> Baby, it's just a movie. <laughs> She's right. Yeah, so in a way, she's not able to do any of her remaining type ideas that she wanted to do. What, hold up, wait. Number one, you're picking it up with your hand and not your tentacles, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. 
baby, it's just a recording device. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, yeah, it's just a recording device. No, that's a temp. Oh, no, it's a timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go to friend. <laughs> this is a trap, though. Uh-oh. You feel like, uh oh god, with poison. <laughs> My poor child. <laughs> No, they're looking at you as they're curious. Wait, Inca! Uh Oh, damn. Cheese to do, of course. Yes, ma'am. A love rival. Yeah, Keely is definitely on a date. <laughs> 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 
Girl, you getting jealous of her, girl? <laughs> I, I know that you sound like a little freaking. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, I think she's on a date and she's just waiting for that person to come. Damn, girl, <laughs> babe, it's not a big deal. Oh my god, you sound like a jealous girlfriend. <laughs> Stani Girl You know, maybe, yeah, I mean, in Nagisa's own special way, even though it's Nagisa is like, I want to stay the fuck away from Inko. So you like them. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my god, Inka, so mean. Oh, Sonny, no. You know how, okay, 
when she was about to cry, and then she's like, you know what? It's something what I say. Her tears like rolled right back into her eye sockets. <laughs> Did you sprain your ankle? Uh. Seems like everybody's getting hurt. Inca, stop. <laughs> Divine punishment, my ass. Inca! <laughs> mm, of course, you got hurt too. Oh, okay, so everybody's basically getting stung by a jellyfish. Uh -huh. Oh. Why are you throwing the jellyfish away? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, they shock people. Damn, we're bidding the TV. I know, she cheating. Of course, Inca was going to cheat and use her tentacles. But honey, oh damn. Mm-hmm, that's what you get. Huh? You know, to observe.
very Did you make a copy of it? That's cheating! Disqualified. You you want to talk, honey. <laughs> I mean, you decided to use your freaking testicles. Yeah, the jellyfish competition was the best part of this episode. I mean, all three were good. I love the fact that, you know, in a way, Inca is now, you know, okay with liking Sane. Even though she's like, you know, you, you still need to back up off me. Like, I like you, but not as much. Like, you know, I feel safe around you. I do. But, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you don't make me feel safe, <laughs> but I'm so happy for the return of this show. I mean, even if it's for like another 12 weeks or really less than six weeks, really, and then the OVA, and then unfortunately we'll be done with this show. But oh, this is so good for a nice little return. I mean, uh, even though I just finished the first half of season one, um, last week and now we're on to season two, it felt like forever even with the last the way the last two weeks have been for me and work and everything else in between and having being tired like oh y'all don't know some of y'all know but y'all don't know uh, your girl has been tired as fuck but I really enjoyed both of these like yeah it was nice very very nice and sweet good way good uh, ending I like the ending the opening like I said it's okay but that ending. Oh, is Inca finally gonna go to school school? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, my God. I, I mean, like, okay. Seeing the jellyfish was very interesting because I didn't think we were gonna get an episode on a jellyfish and stuff. But, um, yeah, it was nice. Very interesting. But... This is also why, and I'm going to say this again, this is why DJ don't go to the ocean and, you know, go to the beach. I'll go to the beach, but I won't get in the ocean. Um, as a little kid, I, I loved going to the beach. Like, now, as, you know, a woman, I'm like, the beach, fuck it up. If I, if I want to go swim, I'd rather go to the pool and stuff. Because chlorine versus salty water. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Plus, so the fact is, in the water, you have not only the fish and everything, but you know all them boats? All them boats, the military boats, the freaking Titanic, all the other cruise ships and stuff? Did you know that when they have to flush the toilet, it goes right into the ocean? So that's a big, no, 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 yeah, 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 no, 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 yamido. Get the fuck out of my face. Like, your girl will never go. I'll go, I'll go, like, if I ever do go to the beach with even the time when I went on that little, like, quote-unquote mini little vacay with my mom and her girlfriends, um, when I went to the beach that time, I went just to go put my, put my feet in the water. I will normally just do that, but I will not go in, in the water, because, no. No. You will not, no. No. Unless there's water that is real, like really like crystal freaking clear like water water like so the waters that you see in like Bora Bora or Jamaica or the Bahamas like I'll go in that I'll go in that even though you know the same thing like I said about typical water here you know for some of the oceans around here but I'll go in that because those are pretty 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 but yeah <laughs> go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14 okay episode 14 and 3 Two, one, go.
going to school. Seriously? I mean, yeah, you went to high school first. Now you're going to go all the way to elementary school. <laughs> yeah, are you ready for that? Okay, Inca, you say that and then watch, like, boom. Exactly. That's why I could never teach or be a teacher's assistant, especially with little kids. Like, I don't get me wrong, I love kids, but at the same time, like, ooh. I mean, I could be okay being in, like, a daycare, but still. I don't think that's a good idea, guys. No, oh my god, please don't brainwash the children. <laughs> Look at the kids' faces! <laughs> the one kid that they showed first, I think with the glasses, looking like, oh my god. God. Yeah, I'd be like that sometimes, kid. Right? I mean, it's just that ink quality, you know? Go on, kick it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, don't give up. cheating though those aren't our hands they're tentacles Yeah, see, Inca is about to use her powers of a pretty cure because, of course, her say you was what's her face and smile. <laughs> this uh, remember, this is cure piece we talking about. So, <laughs> poor baby. I, I know, please, cause you suck it. You is suck it. <laughs>
See, um, just watch, ma'am. Broken. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, go lay down. I'm almost done. Mm-hmm. Well, damn, I... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, she's so precious.
Yeah, so you can't cosplay as something else. Nagisa. The five idiots. Uh huh. Yeah, that's literally Florida in a nutshell. We're not even in the summer season yet, and it's been like that almost every day. Stunning. Mm -mm. Damn. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> she smacked the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah, in a way, it is kind of a concern for us women. I mean, you know, even at the age I am, uh, I'm over here like, <laughs> you know, I want to lose weight, but food. But you, you know, you want to be healthy. Oh, shit, damn. Really, Cody? <laughs> Ma'am. Uh. Oh. 
know, we all know. Us as women, we don't like that. We don't like when we have to talk about it with our girlfriends. And we don't like when we have to talk about it with a guy or a male family member. It is worse when it's a male fucking family member because it's just like a big old fuck you to the face. Like, I get super self-conscious when it comes to anything about weight. Well, yeah, but... This is a stupid idea, Inca. But the child can fly. Oh, Jesus Christ, the bird! Damn, she got pecked. Well, you know, in a way, Inca just went to the center of the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Okay. But yeah, I, I think the weight issue opposite was probably the second best thing about this. The first was just, you know, what's her face coming and, you know, overcoming her shyness. But I, I thought that was sweet because that happens to all of us. Like, I, you know, as a shy woman, there are days where I'm like, mm, yeah, let me be nice and say hi to someone. But then at the same time, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I don't know how they're going to like me. I'm kind of scared. That's like the same time when you start a new job. You are like super, 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 super freaking nervous about how you're going to, you know, relate to some of your coworkers or even any anything else or what's going to happen in the day. Like one wrong move and you fuck up everything right and that's okay that's just life but with the weight issue I, I mean was it triggering not really I mean like I said as someone who is a certain age and you're like you're trying to lose weight not for someone else but for yourself because you do want to be at an age where you do look the best that you can be. Like, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I don't really like the way I look. Like, of course, I love my legs. I, I love the fact that I'm tall. But the one thing that I always hate is, like, my stomach area. And I remember even as a teenager, um, 
I cannot stand my stomach. And it was always worse. And this is something that, it, it's so funny now looking at it. It's so, at the time when I was a teenager, I didn't think of it like that. But I think now when I look back at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that was very like this, is that, and the third. So growing up, when you not only have friends who are sometimes skinnier than you, family members who are skinnier than you, um, and you're watching TV shows and everything and all these other people are skinnier than you and stuff and you're like, this is, the, the word of almost glorifying being skinny is the best thing. Like, if you're skinny, you get this. If you're skinny, you get that. Da -da 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 -da. Now we're in an age where, um, I don't like to say fatophobia because I think that's a little harmful towards people, but being like, you know, not a skinny person, whether this is for a guy or girl, whoever, um, they're saying, you know, at the end of the day, love yourself. I still love myself, but at the same time, I, I want to be a healthier person. And so it, it's sometimes kind of hard. Like, no matter how old you are, it's always going to be hard. But I think it, between me and my mom, and especially because of age difference, because my mom is how old she is, and I'm, you know, still in my 20s and stuff, it would be a lot easier for me to lose weight than her. But the biggest thing is, I don't like to work out. Like, I am one of them lazy girls who do not like to work out. But I I have a bike. I've had a bike. I've had this bike for almost maybe a year now. And I think what I'm going to start doing on maybe the days that I'm off or days where I, if I can wake up before I go to work, probably go on a bike ride or go on a walk or something. I mean, we're getting closer and closer to summer, but then it's also about like, okay, how do you stay healthy-ish when um, summer comes along or when fall comes along, especially during the holiday seasons and stuff or anything else and it's like that. It's so freaking hard. And then you have the, uh, the fake things of crash diets and they say, and everyone says that diets, um, certain diet programs don't work and this is that and third. It's a lot to deal with and a lot of things that you can be stressed with that, about at the end of the day, but just take your time. I'm not only telling it to myself, but I'm also telling you, always just be positive. Don't always, um, <clears throat> what's the word? Weigh yourself because it's not going to be freaking overnight. It takes time and work. You, you know, um, your portion sizes have to be a lot smaller and you drink a lot of water and that's what I'm trying to do because like, okay, so... This is only, I haven't opened this bottle, this can of soda yet. I only had one, and I had that while I was recording my other show. Um, but I try to literally kind of cut out sodas, because, like, this didn't really taste good to me. It's still good, but it's not the greatest. Like, now, I, even with, like, some of the high C um, flavored water things that I get, those don't even taste good to me as much. Um, now I can literally, I will literally drink straight water, because I love water, and, like, tea. As a teenager, I would drink water almost every freaking day. And so the biggest things that I got always see was my face was a lot clearer and everything. And so I think I'm going to start doing that again where I'm drinking water, multiple bottles of water almost every single day, but not too much because I've heard a lot of things about that. But yeah, I really enjoyed these episodes. I love the fact that, you know, the weight loss thing was kind of a little educational in a way, but not really, but it was still enjoyable to watch and to see teenagers or females around my age somewhat or even younger than me are still like yeah you know I feel like this because yeah I, even at my age I feel that way too but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of squid girl if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day the natural squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 15 and 16 Bye, guys.